Today in this video we want to go over a category of drugs that are abused or substances that are abused called inhalants. When we think about inhalants, what we're talking about is a chemical substance in a vaporous form that is brought into the body, ingested in the body through the lungs or breathed in. It's inhaled, thus the name inhalants. Now, these chemical substances rapidly make their way into the blood system through the lungs. It's almost immediate, uh, rushing to the brain, producing a reliable, fast, and brief intoxication. So it always happens, it's reliable, it's a very quick high because it's immediately introduced to the blood through the lungs, and it's brief. You don't have a long period of, of downtime afterwards. So if you're looking for a quick buzz, inhalants tend to be the way uh, to go. Because of those things that are uh, inhaled, these substances are legal, readily available. Uh, they can be purchased at almost any store. What you find then is that adolescents and pre-adolescents often abuse this type of substance. Uh, they can find it around their houses or they can easily obtain it. It's easily transportable, hidden, things like this. And so therefore it is open to a great deal of abuse. And they are dangerous. They can cause both physical and psychological dependence as well as brain damage when abused. I knew from my own experience in junior high, way back in the day, of a particular boy who was much older than the rest of us. And when you spoke to him, you realized something wasn't quite right about him. Why was he so much older than us and yet in junior high, why did he have such a hard time communicating? Was it a learning disability? No, he had brain damage from abuse of inhalants. And for me, that became a living testimony to the danger of this particular uh, substance abuse because of what it can lead to. Um, the things that can be used and found around the house or purchased legally at most stores that tend to be used as inhalants are things like paint solvents, glues, cleaners, gasoline, liquid paper, nail polish remover, cosmetics, and other aerosol sprays. Um, it is unfortunate that these things have a normal use, but yet through adolescence and pre-adolescence are finding another use uh, as they seek to stimulate themselves physically uh, through this method. It's reliable, fast, and brief. The most common side effect is headache afterwards. Of course, because it's a substance, a chemical substance that doesn't belong in our bodies, it can cause irreparable harm and damage uh, to the brain. So it's something to be aware of and concerned about, even though it can be easily hidden because you don't see the effects of uh, someone who's drunk for many hours while the liver metabolizes it or other effects that are noticeable because it is such a rapid high and then brief intoxication. Uh, these sorts of things need to be uh, known and be aware of, especially if you're a parent who has children or if you're someone who works with adolescents or pre-adolescents, to be aware that this is something that uh, should be a concern and to be watched for. All right, well, that's just a brief overview of inhalants, what they are, what they do, uh, the effect they have, and some of the dangers involved with them. If you